Hello everyone, once again I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are in the series of uh, Fundamentals of Cybersecurity. In the previous session we had seen, um, uh, we had actually seen the fields of cybersecurity and we had seen what are the prerequisite things to become a cybersecurity analyst or a cybersecurity an engineer, right? We, we, we had seen these two things. Now coming back to, you know, the point, we are here to understand the essential terminologies that is there in the cybersecurity, which you will face in many of the course, in many of the book, in your academic syllabus or anywhere else, right? So if you do not understand what do you mean by vulnerability, then it is really very hard to understand various aspects because the, the term, will, the, this keyword will come many a times in the, in the course, okay? So it is very, very important to understand the uh, definition or the specification of the terminologies. So let's get started with certain definition. So uh, we are dealing with essential terminologies. Uh, by the way, you can uh, drop a comment comment in the comment section uh, if you do not get anything. I'll come back to you and uh, uh, will connect and will understand. It is not you know understood. And I insist you to please uh, subscribe my channel to, uh, you know, to help me in this phase. Okay, so essential, uh, uh, basically this S should not be here. This is only essential terminology. I'm so sorry, I do not know how to, yeah, this is great. All right. Now, okay. Uh, So the first terminology is, is the first terminology is basically a hack value. What do you mean by hack value? It is nothing but a attractiveness or a interest of an attacker uh, uh, from the side of uh, you know target. Well, hack value is basically it's, it is a value. Okay, it is a value that specify or denotes the attractiveness, interest, or something that is worthy on the side of target. So that I can, uh, you know, I can, uh, I can not hack, but I can access that thing. So by means of that, let me just open the uh, paint here so that uh, you understand what I want to show you. Just a second. It's a good update uh, that I got this uh, Microsoft whiteboard. It's a good thing. So here. Um, maybe new whiteboard okay so what I mean to say here is hack value basically let's say there is a target here okay there is a there is a target and this target you do not know anything about this target and here is the attacker okay here is this attacker who wants to attack someone how this attacker gonna gonna attack this target system okay first this attacker will find something interesting okay if there is an there is interesting thing with this target then and then only this attacker gonna attract towards this target and hack it okay if this target doesn't have anything then this attacker not gonna hack it i mean why he will try to access the target if he is not having anything it's very similar to that of a computer system a computer system which doesn't have any internet doesn't have any data it's just a booted operating system it's a newly fresh operating system doesn't have any program no application nothing at all so why this attacker gonna target gonna hack this booted operating system he will not gonna do it why because there is nothing attractiveness in it there is no worthiness of this hack why he why this attacker gonna risk his life to hack this uh, system when there is nothing at all okay he will he will hack the system where he can find something find worthiness like could be a data okay an important secret data could be images personal images or anything like that could be uh, could be a credit card number or a financial uh, you know document credit card number or uh, could be uh, could be more authenticate such as uh, i can say security number okay so anything like that if he finds in this target then he gonna attract towards it and he will definitely try to hack this system to get any of it 
okay this is important and the value this value that denotes the hack i mean uh, the the attractiveness is known as a hack value okay the hack value is basically the is the is the value that denotes the attractiveness or importantness attractiveness okay this is the thing <clears throat> I hope uh, I hope this is now somehow uh, understandable. Uh, let's uh, write it in the in the manner that uh, so that you can you can put it in your exam or uh, in in an interview. So uh, th there is a value uh, that uh, denotes attractiveness. By the way, please uh, feedback me about this course if you like it or not. I mean, it would be really helpful for me to build certain uh, more courses in this series. It is a value that denote attractiveness, interest, or something, or something that is worthy. Okay, um, it is the it is that kind of value. So whenever you find hack value in book course or anywhere. You can you can simply understand that there is nothing but a value which specifies the uh, what do you call this attractiveness. All right. The second definition is nothing. Uh, it's known as zero day attack. You had also seen seen this definition, uh, not definition, terminology. Uh, this keyword many a times in the in the book or in academic. Uh, courses or ED or these online courses you had seen this right what do you mean by zero day attack well it's a simple thing let me tell you let me again open this uh, whiteboard and let me create another thing here so you see i'll explain you see if now currently there is a situation there is a pandemic situation which is known as covid okay this is i'm sorry i think i this is not the uh undo it okay so basically, there is a situation, there is a COVID situation right now, COVID-19 specifically, right? Now, you see this situation, why, th why this is a pandemic situation? Because we do not have any medicine for this, right? We do not have any cure for this, right? There, there is no medicine at all. <clears throat> so this is basically a very fresh disease, a very new and fresh disease, fresh and new disease. And it and then it comes like in no time and we do not have the scientists or the the people who are working in medicine they do not get any time to research on this COVID-19 or with this disease to to find this medicine they do not get any time so whenever you get a kind of situation when you do not get any cure, cure for that it is nothing but a zero day attack right so if it is something like uh, like uh, a person who gets cancer like in no time like one or two days you will not get certain time to uh, to to make it to make it uh, okay so it's it is the same situation here so here it is a threat or vulnerability in the cyber security it's it is a new threat it's a complete new threat which previously had not been discovered okay you, it is not previously been discovered so it is very similar to this covid is not previously previously been you know introduced it is not there in the earlier years it, it is a fresh new disease and we do not get any time to have a medicine on it so it's the same thing here it's a new threat or vulnerability that that, that is there uh, in the system and we do not get any time or it will it is not it is very hard to uh, for a developer to identify or to address or release any patch for this threat or vulnerability okay he is not getting that time so that's why it is a zero day you see there is an important here uh, perspective zero day here so this as i'm not getting any time to to prevent i mean i mean to cure this i have a zero day okay it's a zero day vulnerability it just comes stuck to your system and I do not get any time. So it's a zero day. Uh, I can say one day for like I get a one day to cure the uh, this attack or this disease. Okay. If I get some time. Uh, so that's why it is zero day. 
okay we i'm not getting any time to release any patch for this kind of threat and vulnerability and that's why i'm calling uh, this attack as a zero day i'm not getting any time so zero day attack here is it is refers it refers to the threat and vulnerability i'm i'm, I'm writing vulns okay only vulns uh, that can exploit you need to understand exploit meaning that can uh, exploit we'll come back to the exploit and all uh, exploit the victim or the system before a researcher or a developer before uh, a researcher let me put in that way before a researcher identify or release any patch for the one okay so this is basically zero day attack i hope uh, you understand it uh, certain thing in it let me take uh, the another definition the third definition is basically known as vulnerability well it is the layman term of vulnerability is a weakness or a loophole well it is again a very simple definition just understand what do you mean by vulnerability now vulnerability do, what do you mean by that is basically let's say this is a system I'm putting over here as a circle this is a system okay and it's a compact system it's a compact uh, let me say it is an isolated system it's an isolated system very hard to enter into it okay it is having a protective layer let's say okay it's a protective layer this system is also having some protective layer such as firewall or ids or something like that it's a protective layer so no no person here there are so many persons can enter into this system no one can enter there is no possibility they can enter right this is the actual thing if you are having some firewall or antivirus or ids or some protective measure some access control there no person can enter into the system right but however if some attacker can find a small loophole some small loophole some entry point here okay this entry point and this is the entry point okay this is an entry point here it's a small loophole small hole that he find in the system then this attacker there is a possibility that this attacker he can enter through this hole inside this system okay inside this system this this person if he certainly can find this entry point okay this weakness and this weakness this black dot this weakness is known as a vulnerability it's the same thing here in the cyber security right so if there is a system which is completely protected and if an attacker can find some entrance some loophole some weakness then he can enter from this through this weakness to his system and he can do malicious activity there it's the same thing so from cyber security perspective if i have a computer this is a computer and let's say my my computer has a ftp okay if i'm ftp is a file transfer protocol uh, so let me not take very uh, you know big uh, big wordings here let me just write here that i this computer doesn't have any antivirus very simple to understand now so no antivirus no firewall now i think it's a simple terminology that you can understand now if there is no antivirus and firewall then a attacker right he can simply find that this computer yes this computer doesn't have any firewall doesn't have any antivirus i can enter into this okay this is simple right but from the perspective of vulnerability i mean it's it's something like let, let's say let's let's take uh, because i need to take that uh, heavy words here uh, let's say that uh, mm, let's say yeah that would be very easy so if you are using adobe reader right let's say adobe adobe reader if you are using adobe reader let's say the adobe reader you had installed and sorry download and installed with a version 1.8.9 let's say this is the version you are using currently and currently adobe company the, the company who is who is, who is uh, creating this adobe reader has a version 5.8.10 let's say this is the newest version 
but you haven't upgraded it okay this is the old version okay attacker will find this thing okay attacker will find that yes he is using a very lowest version of adobe reader he will find is there any problem in this version is there any loophole in the source code or in any kind of uh, weakness he will find it if he will find then he will attack through this vulnerability okay this is a vulnerability here this is a loophole okay this is a loophole inside this computer so this if this is a computer here red box is a computer then this is a loophole this is adobe reader so this adobe reader is this entry point here this black dot can you see this adobe reader, this complete cloud is nothing but this entry point so a person will find this thing okay he is using 1.8.9 previously previously in the previously we had seen that 1.8.9 has some kind of vulnerability some kind of loophole he will find this and he will enter into the system with this loophole okay he will find now how, sir how can i find that this adobe reader this 1.8.9 has a problem yes there is a specific uh, you know databases available over the internet you can check that out they those database having all those records which having the vulnerability we generally uh, uh, say it is a cve okay common vulnerability uh, i think it's uh, i do not remember the evil from but it's a exploit i guess um, or something uh, let's see this but they have a cve and in that cve databases you can check this out that there is a adobe reader and then there is a version then this is the vulnerability it is written so how can i see that sir it's a very easy thing you go to the internet just type a cve or you do not have to go to the CVE, you can easily find with the exploit DB. There are many databases, you can easily check that out. I am just showing you the one famous database, exploit database. You see, all these are vulnerabilities here, all these are. Can you see Node VPN having, Barracuda Drive is there, Site Magic is having, Daily Track is having, Mozilla is having, CMS is having. So many softwares are there having problem and having their specific versions are having problem, right? So I can also search for Adobe. If I search, you see Adobe Acrobat Reader heap based memory corruption due to malformed TTF font. It's a font vulnerability here. So all these Adobe Reader is having some problem, right? And having specific version for that. You can even download that exploit here and can you know test it for your own purpose. So uh, it's it's a recent attack. So you see recent vulnerabilities. You can see here, right? So in this way an attacker will find yes that person is using adobe reader let me find that what kind of version he is using yes 1.8.9 let me search in the exploit db is there any 1.8.9 vulnerability uh, of adobe reader he will find if he find then he will use that vulnerability to enter into that into into this system it's a simple thing in vulnerability i hope you are getting it now so let me put uh, a vulnerability here uh, so it refers to a weak point or a loophole or a or a cause in any system or a network which can be helpful for an attacker to exploit. Uh, which can be helpful for an attacker to enter. It is an entry point. It's an entry point for an attacker. Okay, so this is your vulnerability uh, i hope uh, you understand these three definition and uh, let me put uh, other three definition in the next session i hope you like it thank you so much for listening to me if you like it then please hit and like and subscribe my channel thank you so much for that help okay thank you